that great Gretsch sound, no other guitar company is more closely associated with rockabilly than Gretsch guitars. The sound, the way they play, the way they look, their beauty is in a league all their own. Hey, I'm Michael W. Stan from the Alter Bellies, and I want to introduce you to the latest addition to the Gretsch family, the Black Panther. Panther has some very different traits from the traditional Gretsch hollow bodies, such as this over here, 6120, or the white falcon to the side of me. The most noticeable difference being the thinner body, more reminiscent of a casino. But the most unique aspect of the Black Panther is a spruce center block that runs the entire length of the body of the guitar. It helps to minimize the feedback, which as you know is something that happens with most hollow bodies whenever you play loud or put an overdrive or distortion on it. The center block, block creates more of a high gain friendly performance. The Black Panther has an adjustomatic bridge with a rosewood base and it's pinned. And let me tell you that right out of the box it was pinned. Um, they pin it down at Gretsch which is is a great thing to do because a lot of times on most Gretsches you've got to pay a guitar tech or take it down to a guitar tech to get it pinned. So this is a great little extra. And I gotta say that out of the box it, it played really well was set up really nice. Okay so again the center blocks and the adjustomatic bridge helps with um, string transfer and results in a more full, full body tone in the guitar. Other differences include a top jack input as opposed to the traditional side uh, input jacks found in most glitches. Also something different about the Black Panther is, is the shallower strap locks. So very different from the little screw on knob you find in most glitches and for me that was fine. I had a, I had a guitar strap with some strap locks on it, shallower and fit right on there. Now standard features on the Black Panther that you'll find on most hollow body Gretches include a rosewood fingerboard. It has 22 jumbo frets with the Perlio Neo Classic thumbnails on them. Two filter drawn pickups. It's got all chrome hardware. It's got the little G with an arrow on the control knob. And it also comes with a Bixby tailpiece. And on the back of the Grover tuners, which is found in most Gretsch's, standard Gretsch's. So the Gretsch Black Panther has a lot of the standard aspects of a Gretsch that makes it an incredible Gretsch, but there's a lot more under the hood with this beast. You really get a lot of tonal bang for your buck with the Gretsch Black Panther. It'll play clean and twang. And when you switch on the distortion, it really grounds. I found it rather adaptive to playing slide, which can often be a challenge on traditional Gretsches. It's an overall wonderful guitar, it's incredible craftsmanship, and quite the looker, and it still has that great Gretsch sound. I mean, what else would you expect from a company who's been making guitars for over 130 years? The Black Panther, it meows, it purrs, and it growls. This is one kitty cat that does it all. And this is Michael W. Stan from the Alter Billies encouraging you to take the Black Panther for a test ride today. I promise you, you will not be disappointed.
Mm-mm. This is one fine guitar.